everyone, I'm Honeywell and this is episode 14 of The Perfect Town. When we last left off, our crop fields were glitched out and crashing the game. And I decided that I am just going to go ahead and delete these. Rebuild them in the unglitched space. And carry on from there. Um, I actually did go back to a previous save and started to play it but it was so we've already done so much more and there was no way I would be able to get it back to the point where I have it now so since I'm recording this I just figured it would be best for for the sake of continuity, uh, just to finish with what we have here, and and yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I deleted those uh, farms that were that are shortly gonna be glitched out. I re-put back in farms, but left space for the roads that are eventually gonna be built. And we'll actually start playing this, and you'll be able to see what exactly is going on in a little bit. Gonna unpause this trading post. And we're still stocking this one. I went ahead and I think I told you guys this last episode when the game was crashing. I upped the inventory on the mushrooms. I think to 500. Uh, so these tr trading posts will stock 500 mushrooms now instead of two, just so we can get rid of some of our stock of those. And I increased the amount of stone that we were buying on these trading posts. I had had it uh, set at 200. But if you look over here, we have an absolute ton of building projects to go and that's not going to get any smaller so so we're going to need a constant influx of of stone And I also was looking at my marketplaces, and they are not as full as they should be given the amount of food that we have. So I am going to go around to all of our markets and increase the amount of vendors from two to four. We have the labor, and apparently they can use it because none of them are as full as they should be. It's a good time to actually take a look and see what's happening. Maybe put in some roads over here. This area is actually pretty much done. This area is not. I was considering putting a, a marketplace down here. Yeah. I was thinking about putting a marketplace um, someplace down here and it would cover these bits of land. So I could put some houses or something along that there. I may, I might need some more tailors and next to these pastures would be a good idea. Speaking of which, when we initially built these pastures, I had reduced them all to one labor. 
Just because I didn't have the housing over here for more. But I think we do now, so... While I'm fiddling around with all this stuff, now seems like it could be a good time. Oh, and it looks like we got in some stone, which is excellent. And maybe we'll actually see sheep and cattle. Let's split some of these two. Split. Split. And how many herdsmen do we need? 22? And we'll unpause some of this, mainly these houses as well, just to, um, to give these herdsmen a place to live. And even though they're 100% full, we're still going to raise the vendors. They can, if they're idling or whatever, they'll find something to do. It's not a bad thing. And we'll unpause this fishing dock. And I think this row of row of barns is plenty for right now. I also want to get this school up and running. These kids are going to want to go to school sooner or later. Oh yeah, 79%. So we'll up these vendors as well. And even though I already have four back here, I'm actually upping this to six. Um, because I noticed that there's not a lot of variety, even though we have a lot of variety in the game. I'm actually, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't have some of absolutely everything. Um, but the variety in this marketplace is pretty... Uh, is pretty slim pickings. So we're gonna up the vendors there and hopefully they'll shift out some goods and shift back in some. And now that we're back here, I think now's as good a time as any to empty out these stockpiles. And basically what we're doing with that, we're just setting the stockpiles for removal and we're going to increase priority on these ones back here. And some laborers will come and they'll empty them out and hopefully they'll be bringing them to these stockpiles we have set up over here. And once that's done, we'll do the same thing for these barns. 98% full, 79. Let's increase the speed. Today, people. I need more houses back here. Let's see, we have a need a teacher there, a physician there. They are not touching these. Yeah, the reserve of firewood would be low. <laughs> That's another thing. Even though right now we have a lot of firewood, that is not going to last for long. Um, 200 wood houses are going to use 6,000 firewood a year. 
And we only have five woodcutters, so I would guess that we're only producing 5,000 firewood a year. So, uh... We are going to be building some... Some more forest hubs soon. And we're just going to put in a few roads. So this cemetery will sit farther back from the road. going on that nothing is getting done. I really do not know. Wait, it looks like this one is starting to move, maybe? Okay, well at least they're finally doing that one. The reason why I want them all done at the same time is is I don't want them just shifting the firewood from this stockpile to this stockpile sort of thing. Oh, and it looks like our herbalist up here is done. I'm probably getting carried away with the herbalists. They're probably not necessary. Um, not as many necessary. And... I might even consider taking this one out. Because we do have this one over here. And this would give more forest for hunting, gathering, and all that other stuff. Hmm. I'll think about that some more. Okay, finally these are moving a little bit. You would think that since I'm increasing this to 10 times speed, this would process would go faster, but yeah. No, it's not. Okay, and I think the 50% mark is about good. And... Let's remove these barns, and I'm gonna up the limit, the log limit. Uh, because, again, we're building a lot. priority, but it looks like they're already doing those. Uh, this barn is absolutely fine, and they'll move the goods over to these barns. Now the one thing with the storage barns, you if you accidentally delete a stockpile, that's no big deal. If you delete a storage barn, then that's a waste of materials and it'll take time to rebuild it. And we have this. And we'll go with our new four vendors. And okay, so everything should be sorted back here. We have more vendors than ever in the marketplace. The barns are empty, the stockpiles are good. Um. I will do that in a little bit. And while we have a, the stone, we'll unpause that tunnel.
we'll get some of these houses unpaused and built. Now the reason why I placed the, the marketplace where I did with this was because I wanted this market to cover um, some housing for these breweries and some of these traders that we have over here. And the market also covers the two sections where we put in the houses for our workers. And I'm sorry, I had to step away for a moment, so I kind of lost my train of thought on what I was saying. I know it was about the marketplace, but yeah. We'll figure it out later. Okay, with with the orchards over here, um, I'm putting in 15 by 13 orchards. Uh, 15 by 4 orchards are abso absolutely um, the optimal size. 15 by 4. 15 by 4, 15 by 4. These three orchards will, can potentially produce 260 um, fruit more than this one orchard, one larger orchard, and it takes up less space. Um, so if you're trying to min-max your game, that is absolutely the best way to go about doing it. Um, but honestly, I find the smaller orchards annoying. Because instead of, instead of managing like 10 orchards, you have to manage 30 orchards. And when there's infestations, um, and when I want to change or adjust um, my labor distribution it's just it's kind of a mess so I like the 15 by 13s um, these orchards that we're putting in we're not relying on them uh, for the produce we get all the apples that we need um, through trade um, so this is more more a sort of I like I like having a little bit of everything, so I put this in. Um, and because of that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress too much about that. And I wanted to get a video out um, since there were a few people asking me about it. But we're gonna call this one, cut this one short, a little shorter than I wanted to. Um, but we got a good start. Our forest hubs back here, the storage is, is all straightened out and they're working the way they're supposed to. We are getting, we're getting the increased stone that we need. And let's put these crops back in action here. Pumpkin, pepper, squash, wheat, corn, and beans. So those will be working. We'll unpause this tunnel. And when we come back next episode, we'll finish getting these orchards up and running. And maybe, maybe look at uh, finishing up the this little settlement as well. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you for episode 15.